Now, one feature of Pro Tools 8 that was specifically designed for use with a control surface is something called plugin mapping. Now, what plugin mapping does is allow you to customize the way in which plugin parameters get assigned to encoders and to sliders on your control surface. Now, as HyperControl is built directly into the Axiom Pro, it is a control surface by default and can take full advantage of plugin mapping. Let's take a look at it. Now, I'm going to select one of my Boom drum machine tracks because it's got a seven band EQ on it. Let's open the plugin. There's Boom and there's the EQ. Now, the parameters all ready to go top encoders, that's my low shelving EQ. And if I want to know what's on the bottom encoders, I can peek back quickly to see that. It's my high shelving EQ. And of course, I can make immediate adjustments using the bottom encoders. Now, the EQ spans multiple pages. On the next page, I'm going to find my high mid and low mid frequencies. So let's say that you wanted to quickly customize how these parameters show up on the Axiom. Well, hyper control and plugin mapping make it drop dead easy. Now at the top of every plugin in Pro Tools, you're going to find a learn button. And when you press it, the LCD displays eight dashes. The encoders are essentially waiting for their new assignments. Check it out. All you need to do is click on the parameter you want to assign. You'll see a red dot or a square. Then turn the encoder of choice. Check it out. High pass frequency. Now just keep going with your assignments. From a high pass slope, there we go, encoder two, and the EQ type, parametric or high pass filter. I'm just going to repeat the same for my low pass filter. There's my slope, there's my type, assigned across the bottom encoders. Laid out just the way I like it. Next blank page, I'm going to do my low mid frequencies, assign the gain, frequency and the Q control and then on the bottom encoders my high mids gain frequency and Q control now the plugin knobs won't turn until you're finished and you turn the learn button off there we go let me just recall the factory default setting I'm going to turn on high pass and low pass and check it out my top row of encoders there's my frequency my slope and there's my low pass filter there's my slope on that. Back to the top encoders for the high pass filter. Now on the next page, because this is my custom plugin map, I know I've got immediate access on the top encoders to my low mid frequencies and on the bottom encoders, my high mid frequencies. Now if I want to add the high pass, low pass on off buttons to encoders three and seven, then I just press the learn button again. Turn it on. Select the high pass on off, encoder three, low pass on off, select that, encoder seven. Then just turn the learn button off. I've just added those parameters to the current custom plugin map. And it was so easy. Now, if you want this custom plugin map to always come up by default whenever you call up an EQ, we need to save it. And you do that right in the same area as the learn button. First, I'm going to rename the map. I'm going to call it EQ Custom. And then we'll go back to that same menu and just set that map as default. And that's it. Nothing else to do. So as you can see, HyperControl is as flexible and as powerful as you want it to be. And all of this without having to set up awkward software wrappers just to bridge the gap between controller and your digital audio workstation. In fact, all that's left for you to do is go out and buy one of these. I'll see you next time.